Berkeley County Sheriff taking a knee alongside corrections officers in a show of solidarity with the protesters. Good evening, everybody. I'm Liam Martin. And I'm Paula Evan. The sheriff says that the officers wanted to make a statement. And as WBZ Cheryl Fiandaka tells us, he was more than happy to join them. It was a powerful show of support. The Suffolk County Sheriff and his officers taking a knee and a show of solidarity with George Floyd protesters. Eight minutes and 46 seconds is a long time. And that's how long that Minnesota officer's knee was on Mr. Floyd's neck. Eight minutes, 46 seconds. His hands in his pockets with a cavalier look on his face, knowing that he was being taped and could care less. And he pushed the life out of a human being. To the family of George Floyd and all the families of the men and women who have lost loved ones to the hands of brutality and racism, we wish you peace and strength during this time. The world joins you in demanding justice. And together, a change is going to come. Mounting outrage over Floyd's death and racial inequality has sparked demonstrations all over the country. The sheriff says he understands it and points to his own jails, where 65% of the population is black and brown. People say to me, how are we going to fix the criminal justice system? And what I say to them is, criminal justice system isn't broken when you have arrogance and ignorance and racism matched up with any punitive endeavor, bad things happen. And with more and more people taking to the streets, the voices are getting bigger and louder. This, my good brothers and sisters, is our Rosa Parks moment. This is our moment where we're saying enough is enough and we're not going to take it anymore. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Workers